Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be building the Electra Distortion. Uh, this schematic actually comes from the Beavis Audio website and I highly recommend going to um, his website if you're new to electronics, you want to learn about electronics because he's got a very, he's got an excellent way, uh, very easy to follow way of, um, uh, yeah, of, of learning electronics. So go and check out some of his articles on there and have a read because you'll, you'll learn a lot from it. So before we get into the sound demo and how to assemble this, um, I've just got the schematic here. just want to explain a couple of really simple mods that you can do to, to expand the functionality of this circuit because you can basically turn this from a dirt pedal into a boost pedal. I'll show you how to do that. Basically, these diodes on the output provide the clipping of your signal and that's what gives you the, that, that sort of dirt sound. Um, it's pretty much, this part of the circuit's pretty much a boost pedal and this part of the circuit's a... a a, uh, provides the clipping of the of the um, of your signal. So if you knock those two diodes out of the circuit, you actually get a very high voltage on the output. So to to do to have a you could implement a switch so that you can turn the diodes on and off, and you can switch it between a boost pedal and a and a dirt pedal in that res in in that way. And to do that, you could use a toggle switch like this one. Um, this is an on on toggle switch. It just flicks between the two. It's not an on off on. Don't get that one. You want an on on. And you can see on the bottom there are six lugs. So basically, I'll just draw how that's actually going to work on here. Um, this little pitch is kind of three dimensional. And um, basically, what you're going to want to do is let's draw that in. So that's your toggle switch. Basically, what you want to do is take these two points and go to the middle lugs like this. Take two more of the uh, take two of the outer lugs and go straight to ground. These are just wires. There's nothing connected to them. And then on the final two outer lugs, you want to you want to put your diodes in. So you wire them in much like this. So when you flick the switch, you're flicking between no diodes and diodes. So you can so that's how we're going to do the boost. These these um. The, so just ignore this whole area. This isn't in the schematic anymore. This is all you'll need. So on the output, um, you're going to get. You may have asked. That's great, but when I hit the switch, I'm going to get a massive volume on the on the output, a huge volume boost that I can't control. To control that, you put a potentiometer on the output. Potentiometer looks like this, and it's got three lugs. And you read the lugs one, two, three from left to right when you're looking at the face of the of the potentiometer, the side with the dial on it. So to wire that up into the circuit, basically you just go like this from the output goes into lug 3. Lug 2 is your new output and lug 1 goes down to ground with everything else. So that's the potentiometer. And that's how you implement um, the two modifications to turn this pedal from just being a, a, a clipping pedal to a clip and a boost pedal. There's a significant, a fairly significant amount of boost on the output, probably enough for what I would, I would use a boost for. So this video is definitely going to go over 10 minutes, but um, I just thought that would be beneficial to explain how to do that modification because it basically turns this pedal from just a dirt pedal into a boost and a dirt pedal. So let's hear what it actually sounds like now. So again, don't be intimidated by what you're seeing in front of us here with all the wires and everything. I've just breadboarded this to test out um, the, the modification and I've actually wired the modification. I'm going to give you an example of what the, what the mod actually does. Um, this is my clipper box. I, I showed how to build this in, a, in another video and it's got a whole bunch of different diodes. I found the best combination is to have very low forward voltage um, diodes, two of the same pretty much. So for instance, anything around sort of 0.3 of a volt, so IN34A, which was on the Beavis um, schematic, or um, another one I've got is BAT41, that's also pretty low. Um, IN34A is actually lower than that though, and the lower the better, because like I said before, if you knock out the um, diodes, you get uh, a, a higher volume, but you lose clipping. So the lower the forward voltage with the, with the diodes, the uh, the more clipping you'll get. So that's the lowest one I've got in my list here, the IN34A. So here's a quick sound sample of it. Um, my son's asleep at the moment, so I can't crank it up, but um, hopefully be able to hear what it sounds like. <laughs> So 
So it's quite a nice sounding um, uh, distortion, overdrive, dirt sort of sound. Um, and that's with the diodes in the, in the circuit. But if I turn those diodes off, the volume's going to increase quite significantly. So you're just going to have to take my word for the, for the boost part of this because this mic just condenses the volume anyway to prevent it from clipping. So, um, yeah, I can tell you it's got, a, it's got a decent amount of boost on it and, um, you know, it's kind of, it's not, it's not, it hasn't got a massive uh, uh, boost on tap, but it's definitely worthwhile doing. And it's quite and it's quite clean too. So if you've got that potentiometer on the output, as you can see, turns it down. If I turn this effect off, it's probably about three times the volume of the of the um, clean signal. So that's just a bit of a sound sample of the of the stock circuit and also the the boost part if you decide to put the boost modification on the end um, and now I'm just going to wire it up uh, in, 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 the, in the stock um, configuration I'm not going to put the modifications in because it's going to be a little bit hard to follow if, um, if you're new to um, electronics so um, yeah we'll go to the um, desk and we'll, we'll, we'll wire that up now so in order to make this as easy to follow as possible and not rush it, I've decided that um, I'll do the actual build of the pedal in a separate video. So this video is going to be a modification, how to do the modification video, and then the next video will be actually building the electro distortion. Because if I try and rush it, um, I'm, you know, like I realise that people who watch these videos might not know a hell of a lot about electronics, and they might find it difficult to follow. So I'll keep the um, I'll keep the build the build video as a separate video. So thanks for watching this first video. Um, the next uh, video that I upload will be the um, build a guitar pedal in 10 minutes um, Yeah, for the electro distortion. Thanks for watching.